Just for starters, you know, what did you feel like was the, the biggest difference for you guys? Uh, obviously, you probably a little shell shocked there at halftime after the way that the second quarter went. Yeah, definitely. I feel like once we jumped into Buzz, that really helped us out a lot. We got a lot of steals off that, and a lot of the players made some really big shots. I know you have you, this is only your second year here, but obviously a lot of people like to make a big deal about uh, Washburn and the Turnpike Tussle. Did, did, coming in this game, did you guys feel a little elevated? Uh, sense of urgency or, or a, a different kind of a, a motion coming in? Yeah, definitely. I wanted to play my hardest this game for sure. Not like I don't play hard every game, but this game for sure, you know, give it my all because it is a rivalry game and I really wanted to be watched for him. In the fourth quarter, you guys have been kind of playing catch up, chasing them uh, the whole time, and Morgan uh, gets, gets the three um, there. Did you feel like that was the turning point or what did you feel like it was kind of the, the turning point where you guys started to think a little bit uh, um, I feel, yeah, after I know when we jumped into Buzz, that really uh, helped us out a lot. You know, getting stops on defense always helps offense for sure. So once we got those steals and all that, I feel like offense really spoke for us. You know, a couple of really kind of dramatic wins we've gotten the last couple of weeks, uh, or last week of Pitt and, and Washburn now. Uh, do you feel like uh, that these two are really kind of helping jumpstart you guys as you're about to ready to hit the, the meat of the conference schedule? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely got uh, build up our confidence for the next game. We're really excited. Uh, Morgan, kind of similar to the question to start us. Uh, it's only your second year here, but obviously a lot of people like to talk up the, the Turnpike Tussle coming in. Did you guys have a all the sense of urgency or a little more uh, spark in your step? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, Jory does a great job just explaining to us the importance of this game, not like he has to. Everybody knows about the Turnpike Tussle, and it's always fun to just drive up the interstate and go put a beat down. It was kind of like the talk like at the halftime, obviously. The last five or six minutes of the second quarter, things probably felt like they were unraveling a little bit, and then you had a big lead and it got turned into a deficit. What were you guys kind of addressing there at the break? Well, I thought we did a good job starting uh, the game. It was just the end of that second quarter. They kind of went on a run with their post play, and uh, I think we we knew that we were guarding their actions well. It was just the post play, so we made an adjustment in the second half, and we knew we had them. You know, there, uh, what, were, what were your thoughts when you let go of the three? Uh, obviously, you guys have been playing catch up for most of the second half to that point. Uh, did you have a good good uh, feeling was going in? Or was it yeah, of... honestly, I saw the girl make it right before that, and I was like, I gotta put this one in, and it just felt good. So. And then let's talk about you know the defense uh, there in that fourth quarter, especially you know Jessica and Marissa. They, they were able to you know get some steals, force some turnovers, and obviously uh, let you guys build your cushion back up. Yeah, I really got to give a big shout out to those two who are playing at the top, and uh, because they showed huge composure going down in there, uh, and they got some, their hands on some balls and made some good plays. So that was huge. Thoughts on another victory in the Turnpike Tussle? Well, obviously, I thought we played a really good fourth quarter. Um, I thought we were as good in the fourth quarter as we were bad in the second quarter. Um, you know, we had obviously had trouble guarding them one-on-one -on -one in the post and, and uh, didn't make very good adjustments on my part, and they were able to get after us pretty good in there. And then, uh, you know, we went to our zone on some, on some made baskets and stalled their offense a little bit, and then we had some people step up and make plays in the second half. How big were some of those people? Obviously, uh, you know, we got we're gonna talk to um, Jessica and Morgan both here in a little bit. And you know, Morgan makes the three, and Jessica had just defensive pressure, some steals, layups, free throws that uh, obviously made a, a big difference there late. Yeah, they both uh, those two saved us, and they saved us earlier in the year. They've been up and down as sophomores. They've had some great games, and then some. You know, last game I think they went one for twenty-two combined. Uh, you know, so we need those guys to be. They're, they're good, and we need them to be consistently good. Uh, and just, today was a day where we needed them. We had foul trouble in some other places and had to play a smaller lineup where we were a little more athletic, uh, and they came through for us. And what did you see as the biggest difference there in that stretch during the second quarter where the, you know, the last seven minutes where Washburn flipped it from, you know, eight, eight, you guys eight point lead down to a, a deficit? Well, they just threw it into the post and shot layups. That was the difference. They just turned and scored, and we didn't give much resistance. Our early post defense, they were getting too deep. Uh, we didn't play with much physicality down there. I think our bigs right now are a little afraid to foul. They've been in foul trouble numerous games, and um, you know we just got to be more aggressive. We got enough bodies in there right now that we got to just play more physical brand down there in the block.